Hello, I'm Brent Casey for Toft Audio. You're probably watching this because you have an ATV meter bridge and you're wondering how to install it. I'm going to show you how to do just that. I'm going to show you the, the tools to use, the uh, correct methods of turning your console over, and all the steps you need to go through from unpacking your box to getting your meter bridge mounted on your console and electronically hooked up so you can get your console put back together and your studio up and running. So let's get started. When you receive your meter bridge, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, pop it open and see what you got. Thanks, cowboy. So, here we have the 24-channel uh, bridge. We take our handy little box knife, cut open the end. So inside the box here, we have our two brackets that mount on the edge of the console. There's a left and a right. They are dedicated left and right, so you have to have them properly oriented in order for the meter bridge to mount up right. Then we have the cable assemblies. These are for the Legacy and Pilot Program consoles. Ooh, ah, at last, at long last, the meter bridge is here. For those of you with the Pilot Program and Legacy boards, we're going to need to drill holes for the brackets here on the back of the, uh, the wood side rails and insert barrel nuts so we can, we can screw in and install that bracket. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. Let's get ready. So, okay, what we're going to do is use the actual bracket that we're installing as the template uh, for locating the holes that we're going to need to drill on the console. So let's see, bracket please. We take the left bracket, this is oriented, uh, there's a left and a right bracket. You can see that it, the, uh, the shape of the bracket tilts inward. Uh, so the, uh, the mounts would, would create sort of an A-frame type. That's how you can determine which bracket uh, goes on which side. So we would take and line this up and the, the very edge of the bracket would line up with the edge of the wood panel here. And then we take a center punch and mark the interior, the centers of the holes, so we know where to drill. So center punch. No, center punch. Sorry, Doc. Using our center punch, we find the approximate center of the hole. You can just do this by eyeballing it. And uh, once you have that located, Press down firmly to make a divot where your drill bit is going to sit into the very point of it. And go down to the second hole, make another one. Very well. Sponge. Okay. Uh, drill, we take our drill. It is at this point that we take the four millimeter hex wrench and the barrel nut and insert it in the hole we just drilled. The hex wrench fits right into the end of the barrel nut. We place it onto the wood and slowly but firmly turn it into the hole. For you uh, pilot program and legacy console users, you're going to need to take off the bottom of your console, the bottom panel, so you can access the, uh, the channel cards. So in order to do that, you're going to need a soft place where you can just lay your console down, some place that's... The best way to flip over the consoles is to get one person on each side, grasp firmly, tip it up onto its uh, wood rail, and then uh, very gingerly dig it and tip it right over so it's now laying on the uh, knobs.
there you have it. So, okay, here we have an opened up uh, ATB console, and what we're going to do is plug in the uh, channel uh, metering with our ribbon cable, and then come over and do the master section power, which powers up the meter. Now we have here, you have, uh, depending on your console, you have two, three, or four of these. This is our ribbon cable. This is channel one over here. We always uh, orient the red stripe on the ribbon cable towards channel one. And these, uh, these ribbon um, pigtails are of various lengths, the longest one being the red one. It goes into channel one. We have our Molex connectors up here along the channel buckets. So we go up and plug into those. And we just go down the line with this. There's one. And there we have the two ribbon cables installed for two sections of eight. Now we move on to the master section. It goes into uh, the connector labeled CON6 on the master section card. You align the tabs, plug it in, and you have power for your meter bridge. So there we are. Pilot program boards, we're going to take our 40-way our splice here, and we're going to put it... So we have here our meter bridge, which we take and align each side of the bracket studs with the brackets. Uh, we have two white nylon washers that go on either side of the bracket. Tighten down the, uh, the screws, and there we are.